My name is Don Lauder. I'm from Northern California, which uh, actually has a very strong movement, uh, permaculture movement. Uh, I originally actually met Bill Mollison when he came because it was in my hometown, a, a small press in my hometown that published his the American, I guess the American version, version of his classic book, Permaculture. And so I met him back in the early 1990s uh, when they published that book. Anyway, I was, and at the time I was a graduate student in, um, in agroecology at the University of California, Davis, which is one of the major agriculture universities of the United States and has a, a, a big, yeah, big agriculture program, program plus a big ecology program. And so a number of us got into the, got into the ecology graduate group and, and did, you know, what is known as agroecology. And agroecology, I guess, one of the pillars um, of permaculture and is also the major foundation of organic farming. Of course, the ecological aspects of agriculture and using the principles of ecology to, to grow our food and Instead of you know just bringing in uh, uh, you know pesticides and and um, and chemicals to the to the system, which has been the basis for agriculture for modern agriculture. So as a graduate student, I was always my, my community was uh, of students, both undergrad graduate and graduate, um, as well as non students was the, the the sustainable living systems students. We we were. Do it, you know, there was a lot of activity doing all sorts of different things in sustainable living systems. And mm. so uh, they had an experimental college at UC Davis, and I um, got interested in ha having taught a course in, 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 in agriculture and in, in ecological agriculture, actually at uh, University of California, Santa Cruz. I got interested in the basis of the culture and how Western culture, how as Western culture we relate to the earth and how we, you know, because agriculture is the primary way that we, we interact with the earth. And so I developed a course in the experimental college entitled The History of Western Consciousness and the Environment, how uh, Western, in other words, European culture developed its uh, the way that the way that we relate to the earth and the way we utilize resources and the way we interact with other peoples and so because that's really the basis of how we currently interact with the earth and we can't change the way we interact with the earth and, and unless we understand the past of how you know we developed the, the exploitative approach that we took so far in in all of our country, you know, Europe, uh, the U.S., Australia, different, uh, different countries. And so that course started back prehistory and evolution of, of hum human evolution and went to, you know, the Christian traditions and of, of, of domination of, of, of other forms of life and all the way to, to quantum consciousness and, and things like that. And from that um, course, I realized in Western society, individuals don't really have a way of, of understanding or grasping how that individual, we as individuals, how we interact with the earth and what our impact is. And we don't really have a tool for that. And that is when the the Earth Aware uh, and Enviro account, um, you know, the personal environmental impact uh, accounting system that I developed into software. Yeah. I developed that back in 1992 and developed the Earth Aware software. Well, I lost my shirt on it because it people, I guess, weren't really ready. It was really sort of 15 years ahead of its time because now people are interested in it and it's 15 years old. It's still 95% applicable. Mm. But it it was written in, in Windows, um, mm. the original Windows 3.1, mm. and I I went on to finish my PhD, and I've completely abandoned programming, and I and I'm not going to go back to that. So, mm -hmm. so the original, you know, the the Earthware software, which you can download from my website uh, donlauter.net, um, d o n l o t t e r. Mm -hmm. dot net. Um, you can still download it, and it still runs. I think on on yeah. all the versions of Windows. I got it running, um, but it's it's a little bit old. It's kind of old and clunky. Yeah. So that concept of the personal environmental impact accounting, that methodology grew out of that course on 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 history of Western consciousness, because because uh, we 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 haven't and we still don't really have a a grasp of how 
we um, what our impact is. So people would do a lot of you know maybe meditate under a tree, and then fly to India and and back. Um, maybe even as a family. Mm -hmm. And every ticket that you buy, every seat that you take on a at that time on a jumbo jet mm -hmm. um, was like each person uh, uh, driving an American car to India and back. That's how much fuel. Uh, you you account for that's how much fuel is used by a jet plane um, in flying is and and it's now down to you know like when you buy a ticket now on a plane it's like driving a smaller car um, but it still takes about the same amount of gas uh, of petrol as as uh, driving a car each person driving a car so like if you're a family of three that's uh, like three you know driving three cars to India and back and this really shocked people um, because here they were, you know, they were taking a bag to the to the market, you know, the grocery store, and instead of, you know, using a plastic bag, and then and then when they did my program, Earthaware, here was this huge, glaring uh, environmental impact of their flight to India, uh, their you know their vacation to India, and so um, some people just didn't want to deal with that and still don't. Mm. Um, and others, uh, others, I, I encourage people to just take it into uh, consideration that, um, you know, to, to put things in perspective. And mm -hmm. so, um, so that, that is basically kind of what EarthAware did. It, it, it took every aspect of someone's life and not just energy use either. It was, um, also, things like uh, people would buy exotic pets, and some of these pets were actually taken from, you know, rainforest 